How's it going guys? Today we do have a very special ration. I know I say it all the time. This is a Canadian food container from World War II. This little tin contains 12 biscuit ration, 2 chocolate ration, 12 milk chocolate tablet ration, and it says this is concentrated food. It should be eaten slowly, processed by W. Clark Limited, Montreal, Canada. And on the bottom it has RCN GSW45. And on the rear it has a date stamp of 1945. F8 I'm guessing is a lot code. It could be February 8th. Don't know. And also even has a key on the bottom. Uh, this is an eBay ration. Look at this. This kind of stuff you just take a chance on. Uh, a lot of people reproducing stuff. And sometimes it's hard to tell by looking at a picture if it's real. Once it got here, it definitely is real, definitely is authentic, and can't wait to get it open. So these are passed out to Canadian soldiers during this time period. They also had a, a self-heating can ration. It had a heater in the middle, and you could actually, it came with soup and a lot of other stuff. There was many different tin rations back in those days. This is only one. We're gonna go ahead and take this key off. Hopefully this thing opened up correctly. This is a 72 year old item. Look at that. And whatever gold uh, varnish type stuff they have on here is definitely what kept it in this kind of shape and whoever had it kept it uh, stored correctly. No way to tell how the contents are gonna be until we open it up. Is it gonna break? A lot of vacuum on it. Nice color on the paper inside. Take a smell. It smells like chocolate, not rancid chocolate, chocolate. And biscuits. No rancid smell coming out of that, very odd. As we've proven before, if stored right, stuff this age, in this time frame, can still be somewhat good. We did that Coast Guard ration, and uh, it was the same way. It was just mint on the inside like it was new. Okay. Won't quite come all the way undone. Look at that. That's impressive. It really, truly is. Let me uh, lower you guys down here a little bit, and we'll get in on the shot a little bit further. There we go. So we have our little chocolate tablets, and it has a little gouge hole in it. And that one says... Uh, Concentrated food should be eaten slowly. That is a very tiny, like a pack of lipstick or chapstick. We have our biscuit rations, ration biscuits. A little bit stuck in there. A little bulged out on the end there. And it says processed by Harrison Brothers Limited, Montreal. Man, it does not smell rancid at all. We'll see. We have another one of these milk chocolate tablets. And then we have our two chocolate rations. A little bit of wax paper on it. And these are lifeboat and raft ration. Wow. Okay. 
let's put it on the tray and let's uh, get her opened up. All right, first of all, let's try to get these biscuits out of here as carefully as I possibly can. I don't know if I want to peel that, if I want to cut that. Cut it off nice and straight. Okay. Things coming open pretty easily. Does have kind of an oily texture to it. Wow, look at that. They are just a little bit sour smelling, considering uh, like they're almost getting worse as they're open to air. The middle ones are kind of stuck together. I don't see any mold. I don't know it's better to get a middle one or end one. I don't know. I'll take a taste and see. They don't taste bad. It is kind of like a uh, cat urine kind of taste to it, to be honest with you. I'm not sure what, I'm not saying it to be funny, it actually does smell and taste like that somewhat. I'm not sure what would go wrong. It almost has a pemmican kind of flavor to it. Very odd. They are slightly rancid. But not too bad. I'm going to open up these milk chocolate tablets next. It really is quite a rare find. To find this in this condition. Look at those guys. They look very nice, actually. A little bit of white residue on that. Pour a light a little bit closer here. A little bit of white residue. Not bad. Let's take a smell. Very, very hard. Piece fell on the floor, too. A little dark chocolate flex in it. Oh. Oh. Very bitter and the same kind of taste to it. Like a urine taste. Obviously it's not urine, but that's what it tastes like. Ugh. I mean, it's not as bad as what you think for that age. It definitely is a little bit off. And our chocolate ration here, it says, this chocolate will soften when heat is excessive and on cooling. Oh, it's very soft right now. Maybe it's just a package. Uh, down it may have a white surface. We're used to that in the MRE world. It says the whiteness does not affect the eating quality of the chocolate and it still remains, retains its full food value. Product of Fry Cadbury LTD Montreal. Go ahead and uh, dissect this guy here real quick. Made by Cadbury. I guess the same people who make the eggs, huh? This is a prehistoric uh, Cadbury egg. I doubt it. It's definitely white but not as bad as what a person would think let's take a smell 
It does still smell like chocolate, which is pretty impressive. I'll shift a couple of these things back here. Let's see if we can bust this thing in half, maybe. Oh! Cut, a, cut the tray in half. Okay, so there's the middle of it. It doesn't smell that bad. A little bit of rancidity to it. This is similar, I'm guessing, to a tropical chocolate you'd find here in the States during this time period. And uh, we were lucky enough to get some tropical, tropical chocolate in that Coast Guard ration. And uh, that was still good. It wasn't rancid at all. Take a little bite and see. It's not bad. It tastes like chocolate. It's not bitter. It has an ever so slight hint of like a urine, like a strong pungent urine taste to it. It could be the wrappers that they're in. It could even be the ration tin that they're in. Or just simply it could be something off those biscuits. Overall, not bad. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna end it right there, guys. It'd be foolish to just start gorging yourself on this stuff. That uh you can tell it's definitely a burn in the back of your tongue. It's definitely old expired food, so let's not be foolish here. That is it, guys. That is all for the 1945 Canadian food container tin ration. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose what stripes and bright stars